In this video, we will discuss sodium carboxymethyl cellulose, a popular byproduct commonly called CMC. CMC is a cellulose derivative obtained from plant fiber by means of chemical modification. Owing to its unique thickening, suspending adhesion, and water retention properties, it is widely used in various industrial fields. Raw materials required for manufacturing of CMC are wood, alkali, ethanol, hydrochloric acid, and sodium chloroacetate in alcohol. CMC is manufactured using paper sludge, a waste product of the paper industry. Before using paper sludge, low-cost pretreatment is necessary to purify the paper sludge because the mineral components and chemical additives present can reduce the efficiency of the process. The two major steps are basification and ethrification. In the basification step, cellulose is suspended in an alkali to break the hydrogen bonding between cellulose chains. And in ethrification, the cellulose is reacted with sodium chloroacetate to yield CMC. After ethrification, the resulting solution is combined with the dilute acid, which following which the solid content is separated from the liquid content via filtration. The solid content is then dried and ground to produce CMC, and the liquid content is recycled. Chemically, the structure of CMC is very similar to that of cellulose. Cellulose contains three hydroxyl groups attached to a glucose unit, whereas in CMC, a carboxymethyl group substitutes one of the hydroxyl groups. This CMC molecule has one degree of substitution. If the remaining two hydroxyl groups are also substituted, the degree of substitution would be three. All right, now let's take a look at some of the properties and uses of sodium CMC. CMC is a substance that is found in the ingredients list of several common products, such as cough syrup. Some of the main areas that CMCs are used in include foods, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, and textiles and paper. Wait, what? That's not even possible! How on earth can one substance be used in so many different areas? Hmm, I have to go find out. CMC, CMC, I need information about CMC. CMC has several properties and functions that make it useful in a wide variety of applications. It is water soluble, it dissolves rapidly in cold and hot water, it is physiologically inert, it forms oil and grease resistant films, it provides good adhesion, and it retains moisture. Some of the main functions of CMC are that it acts as a thickener or viscosifier, a binder, a stabilizer, a suspending aid, a film former, and a rheology or flow control agent. CMC is produced in different grades to suit its various uses. These are standard grade for industrial uses, food grade for food, cosmetic, and pharmaceutical uses, and pharmaceutical grade for cosmetic and pharmaceutical uses. Some examples of the use of CMC in each of these areas is as follows. Food, syrups, sauces, dressings, baked goods, icings and toppings, etc. Cosmetics, toothpaste, gelled products, creams and lotions, shampoos and other foamed products, etc. Pharmaceuticals, ointments and gels, suspensions, syrups, tablet binders, etc. Textile and paper, latex adhesives, backing compounds, pigmented coatings, etc. As mentioned before, one of the main uses of CMC is as a stabilizer. What does a stabilizer do? A stabilizer is in fact an ingredient that stabilizes our food and ensures that the texture is as it should be. It is thanks to stabilizers that jam can hang over the edge of a slice of bread without dripping on your clothes. Oh no. Or mayonnaise, which can be squeezed out of the tube in a long cohesive strip rather than in small lumps. Yuck. 